The point I ask you among all is revitalization of our institution, which is a key for every student to key into the agenda of ASU. But we want to know, you cannot be discussing about revitalization of our institution without Nigerian students being in that negotiation committee. On this note, Your, Your Excellency, Honorable Minister, Nigerian students want to be part of this discussion. We want to really know what is going on between the ASU and federal government. These are two parents, but these two parents have disappointed us. And as such, we don't have any trust in them. Again, lastly, Honorable Minister, our message is so clear. We want federal government and ASU to find an equilibrium to meet as a matter of urgency to call off the strike while negotiation or anything else continue. We cannot be at home, like my colleagues have said. It's only Nigerian students that, 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 that bear the blonde. They said, when two elephant fight, the grass suffer it. Like they have said, at the end of every tenor, at the end of every four years, Honorable Minister, this is your, third, this is your the second time in office. Your salary will be paid. The salary of the lecturer will be paid. We want to really know what is happening. So, if it is for us to take a, 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 a cross on us, we will be able to take that. So, we are tired of this incessant strike on our education sector. Nigerians should, should look at Nigerians who want to migrate from Ukraine to, to, back to Nigeria. It, it showed the like, attitude of our government toward the education sector. That is why Nigerians are leaving this country to study outside the country. Because our government, our government has bastardized our education. They have killed the primary and secondary school education in this country. And you can only see the children of the poorest to attend public, primary, and secondary school. Now, all our lecturers, I can say it equivocally, that all our lecturers, all honorable ministers, sir, we saw it on social media. You celebrated your son who graduated in, in, in a country, as a, 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 a university outside this country. We appreciate that. Our parents also have that money to send us outside the country. But we are in this country, then we should enjoy what we are paying for. So we want, we want an ad adequate funding of education in this country. Honorable Minister, our message is we want to go back to the class. We want our school to be open. If our school is not open, we have seen it. It's not a threat. When we said we are coming out, as I, as I, as I speak, nearly every, every, the Niger Road is blocked, Benue is blocked, uh, Adamawa is blocked. If care is not taken, this will be worse than answers. Thank you and God bless you. So instead of coming here, you should have addressed your lecturers there. Perhaps the only point that you made that is uh, worthy of even attention is you said students should be involved in this, and I think probably this is a very good thing. And it is the only thing I'm going to take out of what you have said here. Thank you very much. Soli, 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 soli.